following coverage of a story 23 ABC brought you earlier this week, the family of a teenage girl killed by a hit and run driver have now filed civil charges against several people they believe were involved in her death. 23 ABC's Twilon Nugent was at a news conference this morning and has more tonight. Twilon? Tim, now it's been months of grief for a family and a community as criminal charges still haven't been filed in the death of a 14 year old basketball standout. Now, in an effort to find justice, the family of the Tatchby teen filed civil charges this morning. It's hard because every day that I live without her, they're out living their life and it makes me feel like they don't care. Killed 15 days before her 15th birthday in a suspected DUI hit and run crash. We had already had plans to celebrate her 15th birthday. Instead, we ended up being at the cemetery celebrating it there with balloons. 14 year old Leslie Balderrama remembered by her love of sports and her exuberant laugh. It's something that you can never get out of your head once you hear it. She would do the same thing, like throw her head back, close her eyes, clap her hands, and just let out this laugh. No longer gets to play on the basketball court she loved, and now her family is asking for justice. It's the type of case where there really needs to be an example set. Leslie's mother, Denise Natividad, filed civil charges against the suspected driver, the passenger, and the driver's employer. This is a case where Isaac Macias and his uh, his passenger, Ibrahim Gomez, really engaged in despicable militia. Been out drinking uh, the majority of the night, but after the accident, Isaac Macias doesn't even get out of the truck. A CHP report reveals both Macias and Gomez weren't of legal age to drink, and that Macias was driving a work vehicle at the time of the crash. As 23 ABC reported on Monday, the district attorney's office has not yet filed any criminal charges, despite the Highway Patrol's suggestion to do so. In the meantime, the Natividad family is going through the civil process, suing on five counts of negligence against all parties. Truly despicable conduct. It's beyond just a drunk driving case. This is worse. Worse because the family says neither Macias or Gomez called for help. He has an obligation to summon medical attention, to summon emergency help. He did none of that. Instead, he did the cowardly thing and got back in the truck. The district attorney's office tells me they haven't filed charges yet because they're still working with the Highway Patrol on the case. We'll continue to follow the case and bring you any updates as we get them. Live in studio, Twila Nugent, 23 ABC. Twilon, thanks.